All right, this is KB2MXV, and we're going to walk through uh, doing the FTM 500 firmware update that was just released on the yesterday, I think this morning, the 4th, March 4th. All right, so the first thing I want you to do is make a backup of everything in your radio because we're going to have to reset everything. So what we're going to do is long press the, uh, the top right button to get into the menu. And we want us to go to 107 backup, which I'm there. And we're gonna go right to SD card. And we're gonna go all. So I'm saving everything to the internal SD card. Takes a few seconds. Okay, so that's completed. So let's back out of this. I'm going to remove my SD card. I'm going to insert a blank SD card, which we're going to have to format in the radio in order to put the firmware on. So we're going to long press the function. Uh, we're going to go to 109 format. and we're going to hit OK. So we're going to format this card. OK, the card is formatted. I'm going to pop this into my computer real quick. And uh, when you look at this memory card on the computer, you're going to see an FTM 500 folder, FTM 500D folder. In the, inside that folder is where you have to put all the uh, downloaded files. Okay, so that was done. So now I have the, my files in the FTM 500D folder. And what we're going to do real quick is let's take a look at the current firmware I have on this radio. I'm going to go function down to 126. Software version. All right, so my main is 1.15. The sub is 1.12 and the DSP is 7.20. So let's shut the radio off. Let's pop in the new memory card. And the next step is going to be Turn the transceiver off, insert the memory card, press and hold the DISP key and the power key to turn the radio on. So here's the DSP key, here's the power key, we're going to hold them down together. Alright, it says insert the SD card. We're going to press the dial button, the big dial button. See, it's on cancel. We're going to move it to update. And we're going to say update. And it's telling me, well, right here it's showing you, it's going to update the sub and main. There's no DSP uh, update. So we'll rotate the dial to update. See, cancel update. And we're going to hit the button again, the big middle button, and update OK. So let's see uh, what it's going to do. You can see the percentage on the screen. And this is just real time, people. This is how long it's going to take you to update your radio. And then once the update is done, we got to do a full reset 
a factory reset of the radio. So there's the sub looks like it was done and now the main is going to get done. And uh, the firmware comes with a PDF manual, it's five pages, it's very detailed, it explains to you how to uh, update them, the firmware. I'm just keeping my fingers crossed that all my stuff gets put back in after I... Uh... <laughs> okay, so that says completed. I guess we got to hit the OK button in the middle. Uh, radio looks like it's going to power itself back on. Maybe not. No, let's power it up ourselves. Okay, we want to go back into the menu, 127, factory reset, we're going to go to OK, it's doing a full factory reset now, okay, so once we enter a call sign, that has the firmware on it let's put in my memory card and let's see if we can get everything back let's power the radio on let's go into the menu and we can't go backwards we can't roll over there's no rollover in the Acer radios anymore because uh, who knows why only John Crook knows why. So here we want to get back to the uh, backup 107. We want to read from SD card. We want to read all. And uh, the number one, the file that's in the number one, you can have uh, 10 different files, uh, profile saved, which you can see I have. Uh, this is my base radio, so it was number one. That's the last time we wrote the radio. We're going to select that and go OK. So let's see what it does. My other profiles I have, I use in my vehicle uh, for when I'm in, in other geographic locations. OK. So is this going to reset now? It should restart the radio. started but I don't see anything on the display oh there's a display let's let's do that again let's uh, let's shut that radio down let's turn it back on okay that's a little better all right so we're right back on uh, my main frequency here all right kb2mxv that's the uh, March 4th FTM 500 firmware update. Thanks for watching. Under 10 minutes, not bad.